area. That's the space inside for a rectangle, its length and width are multiplied. Hey, fourth grade. So today's lesson, we are going to start with figuring out how to calculate the area of a rectangle or a square. Okay, we're going to finish this uh, lesson today looking at how we can figure out the area of an irregular shape. Okay, so something that's not a rectangle or a square. Okay, so we're going to finish with that. But the first thing is this. When we're finding out the area, all right, as you all answered in your work, okay, you guys figured out the perimeter was the outside edges. Perfect. Great. You got it. And the area is what's inside the shape. So if I am measuring with my handy ruler here in centimeters, I'm trying to find the area, which is centimeters squared. So basically... A square centimeter looks like this. Each side of this square measures one centimeter. I'm trying to figure out how many of these would be inside this shape. Now, it'd be crazy if I cut out all of these and I lined them up all the way across and I just glued them all on to count them and to count them and to fill it in. That's insane. I don't need to do that because I have a formula, all right? All I need to do when I'm calculating the, the area is I need to measure across and measure down. So I measure the length of my object and I measure the width of my object. And I take this number and I multiply it by this number and that gives me the centimeters squared. A square centimeter looks like this. Okay guys, here's my example. I'm measuring length and I'm also going to measure the width. Alright, we've been playing a lot of cards here, especially war. I'm going to remember that my area equals length times width. I've already measured the length and my length was 9 centimeters. It was about 9.3 but I rounded. And my width was 6 centimeters. It was 6.3 but I rounded to 6. Okay, I'm going to plug that in. Area equals 9 times 6. Area equals 54 centimeters squared. Now this is really important. I'm going to highlight this yellow. Here we go. Because if it was centimeters, it would be perimeter. But it's centimeters squared. You see on the bottom in green coming up, that is 54 of these fit over top of this deck of cards. And that's what I figured out for the area. Okay, fourth grade. So that's how you figure out the basic centimeters squared for a rectangle right here. Okay, area equals times width. Now, go find three objects around your house. I want you to do the measurements just like we did in perimeter. Measure the length, measure the width, use the formula, post it on your seesaw activity. Okay, and there's a trickier, a tricky, trickier, and trickiest question at the end. I want you to give a try. Choose one of them and give it a shot and see what you can do.